What is up everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play. You could probably tell by the title. This one I think a lot of people saw coming. I'm doing a straight Pixelmon Let's Play right now. And um, just from the amazingly good response from my Pixelmon in Minecraft modded, I decided, hey, I'll dedicate a, its own Let's Play to this. And hopefully this will become coming out on a weekly basis. And um, what this is actually going to turn into is uh let's see more world options what should i choose for i think pixelmon itself would just be a good actually no no we should do we'll do this since i always screwed up the name we'll do that so if you don't know what pixelmon it is basically adding pokemon to minecraft uh i think most people know what it is at this point and um basically what this is going to turn into as i will say it again is a mod this is going to be the server so as i said oh my god we got another jungle boy or so this will turn into the actual pixelmon server that i do plan on releasing i just figured hey i'll start out on my own get things going for myself and then open it to the public and stuff like that but this will be the map that will be used so pretty exciting um i'm excited for the pixelmon server i think it'll be really cool you know what I this time i am going to choose Eevee as my starter as um last time I chose Charmander and you know I feel like let's mix it up let's go with a nice Eevee and again in a jungle biome hating life right now as uh we were pretty miserable in our past jungle biome so my priority right now is to not settle anywhere near here as um jungle biomes do kind of suck in my opinion and uh, what I want to do is just again just get as far away oh crap Level 27 Arbok going to kill me. But, I, I, uh, that was a really weird noise. I don't know what I was talking about. But, uh, what I wanted to basically do with this is, since I figured I'm gonna be, oh, look, an apple already. Hey there. Uh, since I figured I'm gonna be starting my own Let's Play regardless, I figured it'd be better to start actually playing. Oh, crap. Yep, well. There you go, Eevee. There you go. So, wow. I can't believe that just happened. Um, but, yeah. So, I figured so it would probably be better for... Okay, come on. For sooner rather than later to just get things started as, um, you know, I'm going to be playing this uh, pretty extensively probably and I'm going to have to level everything up again. So, may as well just get it over with rather than, like doing it uh some other time i mean start now and when the preparations for the server are done we can have it then so i don't know when this is going to be uploaded but ideally the server will be released on monday and i don't think in my past pixelmon let's play we've actually we didn't really do anything in the desert so it'll actually be kind of interesting to uh you know live in a desert this time maybe even i kind of want to steer away from jungle and snow biomes because those things just seem miserable but the trap inch or is that how you say trap binge. um yeah, they actually evolve into something really cool, so I'm definitely going to be interested in, uh, they go into a Flygon, which is a really cool Pokemon, so I may be interested in trying to get one of those in the future, there's a Graveler, probably a pretty high level, gra no, 25, not too bad, not too bad, and um, Eevee is unable to battle, and oh, what are those? I don't know what these are. What are you? Crocker. I have no idea what that is. I think that's in the newer generations of Pokemon. So, here, we'll actually ga start gather. What is that? Oh, I thought that was a, like a generated thing. We'll start gathering these guys, which this is how you... These are the Apricorns, and this is how you actually uh, craft... Uh, or, um, well, actually, yeah, I should probably start getting some wood and stop sprinting around like that. As uh, It's probably not ideal, but that is how you craft like Pokeballs and stuff like that. So, hopefully that is. And just as a message for the server or a word uh my my mindset i guess you could say mindset what i want to do with the server is basically ideally it will start as um you know just a, it'll start as a closed beta type thing and it's not going to be one of those pixelmon servers where you can't build like you're going to be able to build pretty freely i mean there'll be towns that'll probably be protected and you'll need to either join the town or maybe pay to join the town to actually do it but ideally it'll start out and uh, we'll let everyone build up do their thing as um i figured it would be better to let maybe have one starting town and then let players create everything from there after as uh, i just figured that would be probably the most ideal way to go about it and here let's try and find a good spot in the desert oh look another apricorn and another so we'll grab you and a yellow one i don't think i've gotten a yellow one before so those are some ratatatas that is probably what i will be fighting in the future so 
here is actually a pretty cool spot. Um, here's a blue apricorn. That's how you make great balls. And, uh, oh, wait, I should be right-clicking these first. Because when you break it, you only get, yeah, I'm not thinking this through. Because when, if I right-click it, then break it, I'll get two from it over because it's ready to be harvested. And then break it too. Yeah, I didn't think that through. So, actually, now we have actually have enough to craft a Pokeball, which is kind of really useful and uh there you go and yeah so now we just have to cook those and we can actually craft actually no because we need the anvil we need a lot of stuff so we're gonna have to sleep to start things off as um that is how you do get uh you you can heal your pokemon just from sleeping so what i should probably do now is before i get too carried away with myself actually find a good spot to mine actually get some stone i kind of want to just venture off a little though maybe for the first few nights live on the fly as uh and just or live on the go rather as i don't know i feel like it'd kind of be better that way so here let's throw down my crafting table and we'll create some sticks and um we'll actually create a wooden pickaxe and let's go try and find some stone just to upgrade a little bit I will destroy this as I don't have that much wood right now. And as I said, I, ideally I'd be like a nomad type thing, but um, I, we don't really have to worry about mobs too much in Pixelmon, as uh, they don't tend to spawn because I think the I think it's uh, I actually think it might be a um, what you call a setting that I could play with. So that's something I can do in the future if need be. But for the time being, it is a okay. Obviously, starting out not having mobs pretty makes things pretty useful but the problem i keep running into is not having food so that's something i'm gonna try and address much earlier in this let's play versus last time so we'll just make a stone pickaxe really fast we could uh, just keep that one with me just in case i need it and we'll continue on my little adventure here with my one dead eevee poor eevee i miss you already so let's carry on going this way let's see what do we got going on over here um just some flowers and a few more Mareeps, another uh, one of these guys. Oh my god, look how small he is. That's awesome. So, I, I, who misses all my Pokemon? I, I miss my Gyarados. I miss, I miss, what else did I have? I had some pretty nice things in there and I, I do miss them. But they will still be, I am still going to continue the, my Minecraft modded Let's Play. That one is by no means over. It's just, oh crap, that's not smart. I just accidentally placed, it that, placed that thing there. So, we'll have to destroy that again, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, that's annoying. Um, uh, actually, I'm not really, actually, that would probably be one of the things I will place down, but it wouldn't give me the pink apricorn. So, we are just gathering apricorns all day, every day, and, uh, there's a leaf stone, but those are so abundant, I don't really see much purpose for, uh, getting one of those as, I, I don't know, I just, I'm not going to use it right now. So, hopefully we can get, like, one of every apricorn color as, uh, and then dominate the apricorn market when the server opens, but that's not going to happen because I'm not that skilled in those trades. So, should we make a boat and just sail off into the unknown and, uh, try and find some excitingness abroad? I mean, that would kind of be fun, I feel like. So, screw it. Why not? Yellow. So we'll make a boat, um, probably not the smartest to make a boat before getting a stable amount of food, but hey, we're living on the wild side tonight, boys. So we'll make uh, two, oh, you can't stack boats, and uh, we'll just chop you down. And yeah, so we have one apple to our name, and we're going to go set sail, and let's see where life brings us as I go very, very slowly. And my throat hurts, so I'm going to take a drink of water. Actually, there might be land right there. Here, let's see. So hopefully wherever I build my house, I could eventually, as things carry on, build a, you know, like, s not village, uh, yeah, like, build a town around it, and uh, ideally, that's at least what my idealness is, as I'm sure as the server, uh, more people play it, towns will evolve, and there'll be houses, I'll probably have multiple houses in different places, but with, like, things such as flying Pokemon, I think uh, things will be pretty simple to get around, I don't think people will really struggle with that with such easy forms of transportation especially like a water pokemon where you could travel over water so quickly i, I don't really think uh, people are going to have problems with that so let's see um what do we got over here there's this it's getting really close to being land but i don't think this is is there land right here maybe oh uh, is that a beach that looks like a beach to my yep to my left there is a beach and that's actually the kind of biome i was looking for as sun begins to set oh look there's a nice snorlax to greet us and oh great another 
jungle biome. God damn it. Um, I hate jungle biomes, if you can't tell. Well, I only hate them because they put a bad taste in my mouth from my previous time playing this. So we're going to have to break my boat. Um, I can't, I don't get the boat back, do I? Oh, no, I do. So, yes, now we are at, oh, look, we already found some wool. Um, how much wool? Four, awesome. <laughs> so we can make a bed right now if I really want to. So I'm just going to sleep overnight. Look at all of these Pokemon, though. There is a huge amount here, or a, you know, very large amount of Pokemon. So I figure what the best thing to do now would be to, uh, where's my crafting table? I'm going to need an axe. So, here, let's try and find some cobblestone to mine. Oh, we have another one of you. Yellow. Yellow, yellow. Alright, you're not working, so I'm just going to destroy you, because we're probably going to have plenty of these guys anyway. But, yeah, actually, I kind of like this spot. So, I think this may be a decent spot to actually settle and uh, start my own living. And, you know, build up from here. We'll eventually build a beautiful town, and uh, we'll see where things take us. So, yeah, pretty excited for this, not going to lie. Um, Alright, so let's go craft an axe. I'll grab one more piece of cobblestone just in case I need it for something like a shovel maybe later and I don't feel like going mining because I'm a lazy bum sometimes. And actually, do I have enough wood? I said that like a British boy. British. Alright, that was weird. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to sleep right off the bat and um, if I could take on a Tauros, I would be able to like get um, wood, but I can't take on a Tauros just yet. As they do drop meat, if you don't know, but some Pokemon do drop various things, and we can make an axe as well. Oh, wait, no. Uh, well, at least I have the. See, I got the perfect amount of wood for some sticks. Make that, and an axe, and actually, I should probably make a sword as well. So, actually, I could just make that tomorrow because I can just sleep really quickly right now. And. Or maybe it won't let me sleep. So let's go to sleep. I don't think anyone will be be disturbing me in the night. So, so now waking up. Um. Oh, you are. A, oh, your person. I always think that it's that one Pokemon, but it's not, and it's like, oh, this is awkward. So, Eevee, let's fight this uh, mill tank right here. And uh, I don't know if it's actually gonna work, but screw it, yellow. So we sent out our Eevee. He used tackle on me, tail whip on mill tank, defense decrease, and then we'll whip out our tackle. And defense curl. Oh, so that. Oh, God. Did I really do, like, way less damage than him? Use growl on Eevee. Um, so we're just gonna whip out our tackle and go just keep pounding him. And attack was decreased. So he's just whipping down my attack, though, which is not helping my odds. Um, hmm. So I think I may come out on top on, in this one, though. So defense increased. Alright, so one more tackle. Come on, you got this. Tackle on Eevee. Oh, God, this is bad. Growl. Oh, well, that saved me. Too many times. Oh, crit of course, we get a critical hit then. And we level up twice. So go Eevee. Oh, you actually dropped food. Awesome. So Miltanks dropped food as well. And seeing as he was such a low low. Oh, crap. Because they will just randomly attack you. So be wary. Um, actually, this looks kind of cool over here. Uh, no, I want to chop down trees. But uh, first, I should eat my apple now. Uh, oh, <laughs> clicking the bed many, many times. But yeah, I'm going to chop to clear out most of these trees as they just tend to get in the way. And I can use some wood just starting off to maybe create my first house for the night. And then we can move on. So I don't know, I'll probably film two episodes over the weekend uh, of this. But I don't know when I actually want to go and start filming my adventures per se. Like the Pull out uh, or adding this to multiplayer when I want people to start joining my adventure. I think I'll just get like two episodes down, maybe maybe a film a little more, and then I'll upload them throughout the week. Actually, no, because I want to have this out probably. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But um, yeah, and then we can. You guys could follow this as more people join. I'll probably work with people in my town. Obviously, I'm not going to maintain maintain a town of myself, and a lot of times that's what I do. Um, in when I play on like my servers and stuff I generally just do stuff on my own but this time I think I'm gonna try and you know work with others and uh, we'll see where that takes me hopefully good places not hopefully no one like blows up the town as again it is a server and it's to the eventually also I didn't mention this I don't believe it's gonna start out whitelisted but eventually it will be open to the public once we have a nice framework built up and there's towns and gyms and stuff like that but that'll probably be like month 
maybe not months, but a month at least away, I imagine, as I don't think, I don't see that happening overnight. Um, I, people definitely, I think at first the server will probably do pretty good. It's probably going to be, it's, I think I'm going to make it 25 slots to start out. I doubt we'll even fill it up, but who knows, maybe we will, especially when it's not whitelisted, maybe we'll fill it up, but, um, and then we could go from there, and, um, hopefully things will prosper, we'll see though, I guess, and uh, I think what I'm gonna do also is have, like, a nice goodbye to the original fossil server in the next couple days and do a nice little live stream just to say hey guys the server's closing and i'll just have everyone on and we could just party hardy and blow everything up screw it why not and uh yeah so that'll be fun you can kill each other with your dinosaurs and stuff i'll probably take a i'll take schematics though of some of the better builds and i'll just copy people's stuff over as i'm sure no one not everyone wants to lose what they have and then i can just reprivate their chest as I know some people were concerned with that, but, you know, hopefully things will turn out A-OK. -okay. So, here, we'll just continue mining this, and uh, we have quite a few trees deaded now. Deaded? That's a nice word. And, yes, so we'll chop, just chop, chop, chop. And hopefully, what I would really like to see with the series is it turn into, like, almost like what the fossils in archaeology did. And it become a big part of my channel, and uh, I definitely want to do this for quite a while. I don't have any intentions of just, like, dropping off and stopping one day. I do want to continue with this, and there's some string up here. Is that a feather? To no, just string. And here, let's go make our way down to here. And hopefully all those trees start dropping me some apples, as I'm going to need them. And, oh, there's a Magikarp. Oh, oh, that's a level 18 Magikarp. I need some Pokeballs, and I'll capture one of those, and I'll get another Gyarados, because Gyarados are freaking awesome. I don't care what any of you say. Know what else I want? Uh, a Squirtle? That's awesome. I'm going to definitely probably... I want to get all the starters this time, as I didn't before, but I think what I'm going to change this into my Eevee... Actually, I don't know. Tell, tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think I should make my Eevee evolve into? Maybe, a, should I do one of the regular evolutions, like Jolteon, oh crap, what's the other one? Jolteon, actually here, Eevee, you could chill on me, let's go, level 7, Eevee, you could just follow me around, bro. Um, maybe not Jol. what is it, Jolteon, uh, Evelyn? No, that's from League of Legends, isn't it? I'll actually take back Eevee, because I don't want him to die. And oh yeah, I don't think that is a, that's not a shiny weedle, because I, I got that, I realized I got that confused last episode, and ooh, I definitely gonna want to get a ghastly, oh, you're little, oh, oh, you're 15 though, but I, I definitely want, like, I have a little of some Pokemon, just to have a miniature one, and here, look at Eevee, look how beautiful she is today. Hello, Eevee. All right, but I'm going to end today's episode here, so I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the series thus far, and I hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching.